Hello everyone, my name is Ceren Biriano. I'm product manager of partial discharge testing instruments at Power Diagnostics by Megger. Today, I would like to introduce you our ICM Flex that is designed for simultaneous measurements of partial discharges and tan delta on rotating machines, stator bars and medium voltage cables. The ICM Flex is designed to combine different measurement tasks with one instrument. The whole acquisition unit is operated under high voltage potential. It is battery operated. The communication with the software is provided via fiber optic cable. We have different versions available, all the way up to 150 kV. For this demonstration, we are using the 50 kV version. For rotating machines, 30 kV version is sufficient. It is more convenient and more portable. I would like to introduce the connection setup. For this demonstration, we are using Trax TDX system from Megger, which is a 50 Hz AC source. So I will energize my device under test using this source that is directly connected to the HV filter. And then my filter is connected to the ICM Flex. And the ICM Flex is directly connected to one of the phases of the stator. I would like to briefly introduce you the ICM Flex software. It is designed to simplify the measurements and minimize the testing time. It is an all-in-one software panel. So here in the first window, we see the applied voltage curve and the frequency of the applied voltage together with tan delta loss factor values and power factor and also the capacitance of device under test. And next to it, we will see the partial discharge signals and the window below shows us the phase result partial discharge pattern. For this demonstration, we would like to use a step-by-step -step guide, which guides the user through all the steps that is required to perform partial discharge and tan delta measurements. So now I would like to activate this guide, edit, edit preferences, and step-by-step -step guide enabled, and step-by-step -step guide settings. So device under test, rotating machines. I will just say, okay. So when I start the recording, I will have to enter information like work number. Confirm. I will choose the file. Save. Now the guide asks me to connect the calibrator. Now I will connect my calibrator across the test object. So now I've started injecting one nanoclum across the phase under test. Double click calibrator pulse and I'm injecting one nanoclombs. Completed, remove calibrator. Now I will go to my stator and disconnect the calibrator. My calibrator is removed, completed and calibration done. Next step, raise voltage to 0.8 kilovolts. Now I will generate 800 volts using my tracks. The voltage measurement path of the ICM flex is calibrated. So right now I could see that I'm applying 800 volts with 50 hertz and simultaneously I can read my loss factor, power factor and capacitance values. I follow the next step of the guide, start pattern acquisition. It will record phase result partial discharge pattern for 20 seconds that was set by me initially. Press next to continue. Raise voltage to 1.6 kilovolts. Now I will increase my voltage to 1.6 kilovolts using my tracks. The step-by-step -step guide will guide me through five different voltage steps with increments of 800 volts each. From 0.8 kilovolts up to 4 kilovolts and back down to 0.8 kilovolts. At each voltage level, the software will acquire partial discharge values as well as loss factor values. Now we have gone through all the voltage steps up and down. Now I will finalize the test and print, and I'm going to print out my report. On the first page of the report, you will see the date, your company logo and all the data that you have entered previously. Since we have chosen the options inception and extinction voltage, these are also calculated and added in the report. 
Here you will see all the voltage steps that we have been through from 0.8 kilovolts up to 4 kV and then down to 0.8 kV up and down. We see the tan delta values, capacitance values and the partial discharge. We see the tan delta as a function of voltage and partial discharge value as again function of voltage. And then the first phase result partial discharge pattern at the first voltage level, which was 0.8 kilovolts. That was taken for 20 seconds, which is basically only the background noise. Then we see PRPD at each voltage level. Then around 2.4 kV, we start seeing some serious partial discharge signals, which increases as we increase the voltage. We reach the maximum PD levels at our maximum voltage, which was 4 kV. And as we ramp down the voltage, we see the PD values are also decreasing until we get back to our background noise.